welcome to our channel. So this edition, as the title would suggest, we've done a huge haul in Mango. Absolutely loving their collection this season, so thought it was about time that we dedicated an entire episode just to them. The other exciting thing in this edition is that it is our first birthday as a channel on YouTube. I can't believe it's been a year, that's gone so quickly. But I wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to all of you for finding our channel, subscribing, liking, commenting. After having a little break in January, um, because my mum died, I, um, I did feel very lost and didn't really know what I wanted to do. But when I came back onto YouTube, it felt like you scooped me up and wrapped me in a giant cuddle and you've supported me. Um, we can't talk about it much because I will just cry again. Um, but just know that I am genuinely forever grateful for that support and the continued support for what I'm trying to create on YouTube. So we've got lots of gorgeous gifts to give away and we'll tell you how to enter a little bit later in the video. But first, let's get cracking with some of those gorgeous pieces that I've got from Mango. So next up is this gorgeous linen midi skirt. Now, I went for this in the brown tone. It's like a really lovely soft brown color, but they've also got it in cream. And I was tempted to buy both, but then thought, no, Jessica, be good, <laughs> just buy one. It's lovely. It's really, really beautiful. It's the perfect length for a skirt for me. I'm not hugely fond of anything too short. It just doesn't suit me, and I don't like wearing things like that. I like midis and I like maxis, so this length is perfect. So it's very nipped in around the waist here, which is really nice. Obviously accentuated by the tie, which you can just put in a knot there, which I have. And then you've got these two deep pockets at the front, which I think is quite a nice detail. So there is very much a Parisian French feeling to the collection this spring summer for Mango. And I really, really love that. I think the French have got the best style ever. So anything that looks a little bit on that train of thought is good with me. I feel like I've got room across my hip and yet it feels like it's still skimming it quite nicely and giving you lots of shape. I like how it really nips in here over the tummy. It's a very flattering skirt, I think that's what I'm trying to say. I'm wearing it with a simple camisole top just to show you the simplicity of it and the focus on the skirt. But I'm going to show you in a moment what it looks like with the shirt. So you could dress it up a bit more, maybe go a bit smarter for work etc. So hope you like this one as much as I do. Now I have to say my favourite, favourite item out of the entire mango order was this beautiful trench coat that I got. I really didn't need another trench coat but I fell in love with it the second I saw it. Mainly because I hadn't seen anything like this this spring summer. Now trenches are obviously hugely on trend for this season, but lots of them are doing the very classic similar kind of shape, which is lovely, and I've got a couple of those. But for something a little bit different, if it's within your budget, I thought this one was just so different to anything else that's out there at the moment. It's a really light cotton, probably thinner than you imagine it's gonna be when you see it on the website but in a really lovely way. Now obviously it's that long duster kind of length which I love. You've got a lovely traditional collar and then you've got the tie at the back. Since I got it about a week ago I've been wearing it with almost anything. In fact the whole order that I bought from Mango, I think I would wear this coat with almost everything, even the dress. So I'll show you in the clips while I'm talking the different ways that I would style this coat and the many different ways that I would wear it. See, I think generally adding a trench coat on top of any outfit you're wearing suddenly makes it look a lot more chic. But this trench particularly just has another step up, shall we say. Even if it is hot where you live, I tend to find when the sun goes down, I do get a little bit chilly, and this is absolutely thin enough to drape over whatever it is you're wearing, just as a bit of extra warmth, but equally, I think it makes an outfit. That's why I love it so much.
So next up is this gorgeous linen blend dress. Now I think this is lovely. Hopefully you agree. It feels quite sexy, but in a really understated kind of way, which I think is my perfect way to wear dresses. The only slight problem I've got with this dress is that I wish I'd sized down. Now it is supposed to be square here, so it's not supposed to be fitting tight over your chest, but just on the waist here, a little bit on the hips, I think it's coming up a tiny bit big. So it's linen blend again, a beautiful color of beige, um, which I think is very subtle, it's quite elegant. I think it's called the Capri dress actually, which is what it reminds me of. You kind of want to be sat having coffee by a beautiful lake in Capri or something. So you've got buttons all the way down the side here and then you've just got a belt which are cinched in like that. I sometimes like tying knots in belts like this instead of doing a traditional pull how it's meant to be done. It gives you the ability to cinch it in a little bit more than you would because it would just keep coming loose. But also I think it looks a little bit different and I quite like how it hangs down here. It's just personal taste really, it's how I like to wear them. I think it looks very chic for this spring summer but I also think it's really practical which is important when you're shopping to make sure it's not so on trend that you're going to wear it for one season. I think this is the sort of summer dress that I will probably have in my wardrobe for years, which is kind of how I like to shop really. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, we are officially a year old on YouTube. Can't believe it's a year already. But to say a huge thank you to all of you for your support, for all your likes, your comments, and of course to everybody who has subscribed, just essentially joining our little community. I'm honestly so grateful and really humbled actually that there's now thousands of you watching my videos. It's slightly daunting if I think about the numbers too much. I try not to. I just try and remember what it is that I like in my personal style and hopefully the people that like my style will find me on YouTube. So we've got a lovely competition for you where you can win some gorgeous goodies. Right, first up, you could win this gorgeous beach bag from a brand called Gift Pop Boutique. I've also got this beach bag as well because I love it. It's giant. You can get so much in it and I love, 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 love the colour. I think it's such a brilliant pop of yellow. You could also win this gorgeous animal print clutch and crossbody bag which comes from the foundry design. I love the leather tassel down here. You've got animal print on the front, beautiful leather on the back and you can wear it as a crossbody or use it as a clutch. So that's in the giveaway too. You could also win a bottle of Nutrient Boost face oil from Willowberry Skin. That's gorgeous actually. I use that quite a lot. Not your bottle, my bottle. <laughs> and to top it all off, you can win lots of goodies from my very own Lara Quinn home fragrance collection. You get a candle, a diffuser, and a luxury gift set. So what we've got to do to enter is at the end of this video, because I've got a few more bits of clothes to show you, head over to our Instagram page, which I've linked in the description. Make sure you're following us over on there as well. And just simply comment on our last post and we will announce a winner in about two weeks time on our channel. So make sure you look out for that. Right, let's get back to the Mungo collection. Keeping it really simple with this next outfit, but probably a look that I would wear an awful lot on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's just a t-shirt saying je ne sais pas. But I liked the print, I liked the colors just running through it. I think off the top of my head it was under £10. It is organic cotton which is a really nice touch. I've gone true to size and I would say it's a great fit. If you like t-shirts to be a bit tighter, maybe size down. I've just put a few of my bangles on with it and my boyfriend jeans and a pair of trainers. So this is kind of an everyday easy peasy kind of look with a simple t-shirt that cost, I don't know, 6 99 or something. You can't really go wrong. Then I found this gorgeous linen blend blouse. Bit of a mouthful. It's got quite a boxy shape, which is exactly why I love it, because I think they're more versatile. So I've styled it wearing it out, as I probably would in a more casual kind of way. You could make it look really smart and wear it to work, but you could equally, like I have just now, dress it right down so it's sort of day wear. Hopefully the colour is coming across on screen as nice as it is in real life. I think their website probably has got a true indication of the colour, because it's like a yellowy sand tone. It is a 
linen blend so I think it's like 55% linen and 45% viscose. Quality feels lovely actually. The little buttons are tortoise shell which is a nice detail. So the sleeves are really wide almost a bit like a kimono kind of shape here. I didn't put it with boyfriend jeans for this look. I've put it with a pair of skinnies that I got from H&M. I feel like boyfriend jeans would probably be too wide for it. So if you like wearing shirts out like this I'd say keep your bottom half slimline. Because the top is quite wide you don't want to go like that all the way down. You want to slimline your shape. For an everyday casual but chic look I think worn out like this and styled with skinnies and a nice tan bag is a really nice look that I'll probably wear an awful lot throughout the summer. jumper that I'm wearing. Now I do like to have a couple of sweaters in my wardrobe for spring summer. Mainly the lighter fabric so a knitted cotton is really nice or a knitted linen actually is lovely um, just because it's very breathable. So I found this one on their website and I absolutely love it mainly because of the cut. So it's that very wide square shaped sweater but in a really fine knit cotton which feels lovely against the skin obviously really breathable etc for spring summer. Now I wear for it in this kind of deep camel tone but they do have it in a cream which I thought was really lovely for this season and then a slightly lighter maybe a tinge of yellow color as well which I might get that one too but I went for the brown simply because of a couple of other things I bought to go with it so I styled it with a pair of boyfriend jeans which I'll talk about in a minute just added a tassel necklace which came from a brand called raindrops and roses she's a lovely lady I chat with on Instagram a couple of bangles there one from Ana Luisa and the other one I can't remember sorry I'll put everything in the description below so lots of brown tones going on I haven't gone match Matchy matchy with it because I'm not fond of that anyway but it's a very relaxed look for daytime through spring summer that's just my cup of tea. If you've watched a couple of our videos you've probably heard me talk about these jeans before because I absolutely love them. But for the people who don't know, these are the organic jeans from Mango that I sized up to get this perfect boyfriend fit. So the crotch sits really low, the leg is quite wide, I just keep doing turn ups on the hem and it's got a nice fray on it as well. So yeah, if there's one pair of jeans you buy this season, I would highly, highly recommend it's this pair. So next up is this gorgeous floaty embroidered blouse. Now I think this is beautiful. To be honest, I have been living in it since I got it. So proof is in the pudding. Cost per wear is next to nothing now. <laughs> Through summer, I like to have a couple of white tops in my capsule wardrobe, and I tend to pick things that are a bit floaty, a little bit bohemian, lots of frills and interesting details. So I'd wear this blouse with pretty much anything on my bottom half. I'm wearing it with boyfriend jeans, but I think it would look lovely tucked in with the linen skirt. I'd wear it with skinnies, I'd wear it with a maxi skirt. So many different ways, because it's one of those very pretty bohemian tops that mix and matches with so many pieces you've probably already got in your wardrobe. So it's got buttons all the way down the front in a slight contrast, a slightly beige colour. And then you've got this beautiful gold embroidery all across the chest portion. And I love the cut as well. This frill comes all the way down, right down to the hem, which I think is really something a bit different. The joy of tops like this is that they generally don't go out of fashion. It's just a pretty white top. Last but not least is this beautiful midi dress that I found. I have featured it before, I think in our how to dress bohemian uh, style video that we did. But I wanted to show you again because one, I love the dress so much, but two, I needed a good belt to go with it and I just found this on Mango and I think that's perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. Now I thought of this belt for this dress but I also thought on top of coats etc, both for summer and for winter, it will work really, really well. You could add a tan bag to this outfit or you could add a straw bag. I think that would look really lovely. I'm not sure if they've got stock left of this particular dress at the moment but I do know that Mango have got some gorgeous middies and max 
taxis on their website. So I'll link some of my favorite in the description below and you can have a little look through. Hopefully there'll be a similar style to what you love. Right, let me just show you what I'm on about with the coat idea with the belts. So here's the belt on top of the trench coat and I think it's a really, really lovely look. It's very different to how I was wearing the trench before. It makes it look a little bit more dressed up, maybe a bit smarter, and it just makes the coat look completely different, but still beautiful for this summer and also really on trend as well. So hopefully you like that look as much as I do. It just doubles up the coat and gives you a couple of different ways to style it. Um, which you wouldn't normally get with a coat. So hopefully you enjoyed this edition and loved all the clothes as much as I did. I would definitely say Mango is one of my favorite high street brands and certainly this spring summer, the collection's just beautiful. Don't forget to enter our competition giveaway. So after this, head over to our Instagram, make sure you follow us and comment on the latest post and we'll announce the winner in the next couple of weeks on YouTube. And as always, it would be lovely to know your favorite pieces in the comments section below. Have I gone completely mad with the trench uh, for spring, summer, or do you totally get where I'm coming from? Love to hear from you as always. And thank you again for getting me to my first year on YouTube. I'm so grateful for all your support. Really excited to see where we go next, what happens in the next year. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.